Hey everybody, Michael Sylvester here with Geek and Tell, and it's going down right now here at the Toy Bot Bristol. Now let's go inside because I am hungry. All right, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Spider. I am a server here at Toy Box Bistro, former manager, but I took kind of a, uh, yeah. I guess a year off, and then I came back. <laughs> and what is one of your favorite things about this place that you like? Uh, honestly, that it's so casual here. I feel like I can really interact with the customers and get to know them instead of it feeling like you know, like a server-customer relationship, you know? Um, 
I don't feel pressured to be like, oh, you know, hi, how are you? Very, you know, not plastic. Yeah. You know, we get that here. Um, the food is phenomenal, you know. Um, and, I mean, even the management. I honestly, Bill Bergman is probably the best boss I've ever had. So. Awesome. All right. And... What would you recommend for people to try? If this is their first time here, what would you recommend to be the first thing they tried? Uh, absolutely one of the burgers. Like, where else in Huntsville are you going to get a chopped sirloin burger? <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Alright everybody, and we have... My name is Phil Bergman. Hey Phil, alright, we got a question. How long have y'all been established here now? About five years and two months at this point. About five years and two months? Mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit about this place, the theme, and what's it all about? The theme, uh, if you want to call it anything, it's a place that it, it inspires a little bit of memory and a lot of admiration of anything that you like that is a collector. Uh, you could be, want to go to geek, you could be a nerd. Everybody has a particular nerddom. They may not know it or they may not show it, but in here, they're comfortable and welcome. So they can look around and see collectibles that go all the way back to 1990, for the early Star Wars stuff, all the way up to some of the more modern, and I mean very modern stuff at the time. It's hard to keep up with, with the speed of light that is going on right now, but uh, we try. Okay, and I've noticed one thing. A lot of times uh, when we come here, we always see y'all uh, staff is wearing s some kind of superhero or fantasy t-shirt. It's, it's somewhat thematic, and it's also, again, let them be comfortable with who they are, because I can't say you're only going to wear a Green Lantern or something. They have their own thing, their own fandom that they like. And in some cases, it may just be a cause they follow, um, not generally politically, but just stuff that they feel is close to their heart and lets them express who they are to the other guests as well. So. Also, and can you tell what some kind of the food that we can get here? Just a few samples. Well, I'll describe one thing. We're, we call ourselves comfort food with attitude. So we can get a, you can get a hot dog, a simple hot dog, but ours happens to be a half pound and almost a foot long. 
Um, we do burgers that are a little off bubble, including ones that include uh, ghost pepper cheese, peanut butter. Um, you could have things on there like our fried pickles that we make in house. Um, you could have any one of our sandwiches, including the North End or Northside Hero, which comes basically Chicago with uh, Italian beef. Um, and we just, every day instead, are constantly creating. We're constantly making something new, something fresh, something fun, and always a little more toy box than anything else we've done before. <laughs> okay, and where are y'all located exactly at here in Huntsville, Alabama? Officially at 513 uh, Jordan Lane, 511, 513 Joint Suite here on Stedman Corner, which is uh, the corner of Jordan and Holmes. Um, again, we've been here five years, but we're in a building that's been in, in operation as a restaurant of one form or another since 1945. Oh, wow. So a lot of, a lot of History. blood in here is floating around yeah. all the time. We, we joke about the ghost of Stedman. You know, <laughs> he was the first one to open the pit here on this road before it was even paved. And oh, wow. uh, we're hoping we kind of live up to that legacy so that people want to come here. All right. Uh, thank you very much. And everybody, when you're in Huntsville, Alabama, or if you are in Huntsville, Alabama, or the Madison County area, you need to come by the Toy Box Bristol and check them out. Remember, you leave here hungry, it's your own fault. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. My honor's pleasure. Thank you. Again, Man, guys. thank I'll you. See you soon. All right, everybody. We just got finished eating, and I had the chicken cordon bleu uh, without the sauce on it. And with a side of french fries, and I'll tell you what, the french fries are very good. I was very happy with the ch chicken cordon bleu. But of course, you know, like a lot of places, there's always going to be some stuff that you're not crazy about, and there's also going to be stuff that you like. So, if you ever come here, uh, don't hesitate to try everything. Right there, I know their hamburgers are very good right here. Uh, their boneless wings are very good. So, don't hesitate. Y'all come on down here if you're in the Huntsville. Uh, Alabama area, check out the Toy Box Bristol. Oh, you can come on. <laughs> it's, I can edit all this right here, right there. Uh, but the staff here are very friendly. This is kind of a laid back feel to it. And I hope you enjoyed the little uh, decorations and the thing that they got going on here. All right, everybody, and I thank you for joining us today, and we hope you enjoyed this video, and see y'all next week.